One of the most common features you're going to see on a lot of websites that are selling you a monthly or an annual plan or a product is the toggle button. But as you know, it's not something we get as default within Elementor, but Element.how, Maxime's website, and the link is in the video description, gives you easy to use code to give you that exact toggle button. Here's one I prepared earlier, and I've only done this so it's easy for me to explain because I really want to go over the components and how you make this work. Like I said, Element.how, Maxine's website, when you scroll down, you will see the code. You don't have to pay for this. You can go there and go and get the code. There are two you need. There's a long version of the code here. When I say long version, there's a long code. And then further down, you'll see a smaller code. So we have two codes, small and long. What you want to do when you're building out your page inside of your container or wherever you put it, you want to go and put the smaller code inside a HTML widget at the top. And below all of your items, you then put the longer code. And what you will notice, though, if I go back to my top one, which was the smaller code, it has got kind of like the web squadron colors over there, FF0050. And if you go down to the longer code, you will see down here where I've gone and put the FF0050 over there. And I did it down here as well. So if you feel like you want to get the colors to fit your branding, you can do that. You can even change the color of the uh, the circle in there or the button or the toggle switch as well. So what do you do here? So we've got two bits of code. One at the top, small one, one at the bottom, which is a big one. In the middle is where you go and add in your items. I have got a price table over here called option one, and I have another price table over here called option two. That is literally it. So if I now go and preview this, you'll see option one, and you don't see option two until you hit the toggle. Not bad, right? And you could have a, you know, add to cart, buy now. You could even redirect them to another page with your buttons. But there's more we can do with this. And we're going to do that. I'm going to drop in a text editor. And I'm just going to move it to be above the HTML. I'm then going to change the text monthly and annual. I'm going to add in just a little bit of space just to space it out ever so slightly. Change the style a tiny bit, something like that. Then we're going to go to the advanced tab and I'm now going to apply as much negative margin as I can to bring it up and a little bit of top margin just to centralize it a bit. So we've got the monthly and we've got annual and you're kind of making it clear. And this is where you might want to put a bit more text. Just be careful, voter. If you go and add any text over here or a spacer or an icon, it kind of gets caught up in the whole before and after. So it might not give you the effect you want. But what if you wanted to have two pricing tables for monthly? Maybe you've got three different packages and then you want to show another two for the annual with completely different pricing. So here's what you do. You have to ensure that all of the items that are going to be in the monthly sit within their own container and everything in annual sits within its own container as well. So again, it's really simple. Just go over to your uh, parent container, go and add in a child container like that. I'm now going to move the child container up to sit below the HTML. I'm going to duplicate it again. So now I've got two. Into the first one, I'm going to go and drop in price one and we'll drop in it in again. And into container, child container number two, sorry, you've now got the second one. So I'm going to go to child container one and just centralize it. I'm also going to set it to be a row. When we go to monthly, it will show container one. When we go to annual, it will show container number two. So if we now hit update, so when you go to monthly, you can see child container one. You go to annual, you can see child container number two. That is a really simple way of adding a toggle to your Elementor website without having to go and use a third party plugin. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that.